It's live on KEXP, and I'm your host, Evie, from listener-powered, independent 90.3 FM uh, KEXP. Here in Seattle, we're broadcasting live and streaming 24-7 at kexp.org and our mobile apps. And KEXP is a nonprofit, so these live performances like the one today are made possible from donations from people just like you. And I'm so happy to be joined today uh, by Julia Jacqueline. Thank you so much for being here, Julia. Thanks for having us. We're so excited to hear some music today, so whenever you're ready. You can call your sister later
You're listening to Julia Jacqueline live here on KEXP. Sounded so beautiful. Another sip of water. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, all right. This is the last song. Great. It's, yes. <laughs> As closed, I felt pretty And the shoes and the dress Confused by the rest Could he hear me? Lydia you wears a cross So she's never gonna take it off We sit back to back Listening to Jesus Christ Superstar soundtrack be a believer It was all just song and dance Be a believer If I thought we had a chance Eyes to the poor Thoughts to our Lord We were praying for Princess Diana A child in a leotard beneath a technicolor dream coat. I'd be a believer if it was all just song and dance. I'd be a believer if I thought we had a chance. Listening to Julia Jacqueline live on KEXP, oh, sounding seriously so beautiful. What a treat to, to listen to this live, seriously. I, and you should know also that um, so many DJs have texted me just to tell me how jealous they are that Aww. I get to do this. <laughs> We're big fans. Oh, thank um, so thanks for being here today. How are you? Um, yeah, pretty okay. You yeah, pretty okay. that's good. Yeah. That's good. No, I feel I feel good now. Yeah. yeah. It's over. Well, you did it. You did it. Great job. <laughs> no, that was fun. That was fun. Good. But well, can, do you scary. want to um, introduce the members of your group? Yes. Maybe starting to your left here. Will Kidman on the guitar. Um, 
<laughs> Jennifer Aslett, I can't see you. <laughs> Jennifer Aslett on the keys and the tambourine. Uh, Mimi Gilbert on the bass and the backing vocals. And Laurie Torres on the drums. Well, thank you all for making the trip to be here today. Um, I want to talk to you about your new record, Pre-Pleasure. It came out in August, if I'm correct, mm -hmm. at the end of August. Can you um, tell me what Pre-Pleasure means and what does it mean to you? <laughs> tell um, me about that title. Yeah, look, what, what can I say about <laughs> that title? Um, it's kind of, well, for one, I needed a title. So that was kind of the biggest motivating factor for coming up with that. Um, but I guess it's also about like, um, it's so hard to collect my thoughts right now. It's about like uh, thinking that, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, I really put you on the spot. It's okay if you're just like, no, it's no, just no. a cool title. <laughs> it, it has a meaning. I just am struggling to remember what it is. Um, at this current moment. It's kind of just about thinking that if you do all of these things in life, if you um, yeah, keep like chipping away at your relationships, like romantic, your family relationships, your friendships, you'll eventually do all this like emotional work and then you'll arrive at this pleasurable state. And I guess it's me realizing like that's not how anything works. Mm. And I think a lot of this record is is me coming to that realization that like all of your relationships or if you want to have good relationships in your life, it's going to be just continuous work right. until you die. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the truth. I'm, I'm like, oh man. Yeah. Like it's, <laughs> it's intense, but also like there's something quite liberating right. about knowing that like everything is a work in progress, you know, instead of like constantly waiting for the good stuff to come, you know? I love that. Well, thank you for sharing that. Go. Yeah, I, 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 I got it out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I also read that you um, you created this album a little bit differently. Like maybe you wrote it differently by um, putting down the guitar and learning to play keys. Um, you mm. want to tell me something about that? Um, I feel like learning to play keys is giving me too much credit. <laughs> I just like played some keys. <laughs> I wrote like quite a lot of it just on keys, but like I definitely wouldn't want to play them live mm. um yeah I think I'm sure like a lot of writers or just a lot of people in the world just struggled to be creative over the last couple of years and I I think as well after touring so much um, my last record I just started to associate the guitar with um stress <laughs> and yeah. work kind of just I'd look at it and I'd be like I don't want to go to work today um and so I think just the keys was more just to kind of rewire my brain and and now I can I've come back to the guitar and I'm like oh the guitar is great yeah <laughs> just needed a break yeah I needed a break. a break we needed yeah. a break I, that was something else I was going to ask you like as, as someone who's not a musician or an artist like in any way <laughs> I am curious um if you if you lose inspiration like you were just saying I mean that's I was thinking about that like it, it has to be difficult to go on tours and be on constant like year long tours and still find the motivation to be creative. And I'm sure what's happened over the last few years in our world has, has not helped. Do you just get sick of music after a while? Yeah, definitely. And I, and I think you also just have to come to terms with the fact that the reason that you go into music is not going to be sustainable. Like, you know, mm. your youthful kind of, I don't know, idealism about coming into music is just going to be, it's going to be destroyed in some way yeah. and that's, that's okay. It just, I think a lot of, I just know a lot of my peers, like you go through a bit of a grieving process when you realize like you've kind of lost that and, but you, but you have to just kind of figure out what the next chapter is going to be. And yeah, like, I don't know. I'm, I, I think I'm in that chapter at the moment, just trying to figure out what the next, how I'm going to engage with music next. <laughs> Yeah. So for those who are kind of in that, um, they're still like baby musicians, right? Mm -hmm. um, that haven't gotten to that point yet. Do you have any like, do you have any <laughs> advice for people to like, to spark inspiration or creativity again when you get to that point? Um, not really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like everyone just has to go through it. You just yeah. have to go through it and you're going to figure out your own way of coming back. And like, I think something that's really 
helped me is just being back around people and playing music with people again. Mm. I think that's when I got into music, I got into it because I wanted to be part of a community and I wanted to I wanted to create things with people and and then I don't know, it, that kind of gets a bit lost along the way. Like it can be quite an isolating job surprisingly, so I think that like community and just just trying to like play with your friends. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah. that's the worst advice ever but yeah just hang out with your friends play music it's fun I mean community is important yes I agree I yes. agree um and I you know you put a lot of, of of yourself and your life into your lyrics I mean that's that's very obvious is it do you find it hard to be that vulnerable and and talk about yourself that way um I don't until I have to do – until people ask me that question. <laughs> I think, like, yeah. when I'm creating it and I'm in the, like, recording in the studio or when I'm just writing it, I feel very cocooned. Mm. And then I think when you put it out in the world and then everyone's just like, whoa, <laughs> that's intense. Are you okay? <laughs> that's when I start to question it a little bit. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I – it, it, it is weird, but then also, like, that's just that's just songwriting, isn't it? Right. It's like, and I guess in my genre, it's what we do. And also, especially now that the record's been out a little for a little while, and I think the first week I felt it felt really intense, but then once it's been out for a while and you're playing it to crowds and you're just like, oh, yeah, like, basically every human feeling I've ever had has been felt by millions of other people that's when you kind of like get over it (laughs) and you're like, it's fine. It's totally not that intense at all. Well, I love your songwriting. Thank you. I think you're fantastic at what you do. Just know that. (laughs) Okay. I, uh, one more thing is that we've been seeing tours canceled kind of left and right lately. Like, I don't know if you saw Santi Gold's post recently about how she canceled her tour because she was because of inflation and cost and her mental health was deteriorating because of it. Um, how has touring been for you lately on that note? Um, yeah, it's like, it's hard and it's strange. And like, I do question if it's a good idea every yeah. second day. Um, I think we as a band like are all kind of working through those feelings every day. And it's kind of nice to do it as a group, as musicians to like see yeah, like how how we are supposed to do this job mm. going forward. Um, and this is, yeah, my first tour in years. So, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I got pretty sick recently and it kind of, mm. I got the flu influenza <laughs> in New York. <laughs> and, um, you know, then that had to, had to postpone some shows and cancel some shows and it's like, yeah, pretty financially scary and Mm. mm, yeah it's hard to not feel like you're letting everyone down and and I think people are like simultaneously very understanding at the moment but also like I think everybody has a lot of feelings and a lot of needs Mm. especially on the internet so I just like it's yeah I just think that it's just like it just feels like a raw nerve right now touring and being a musician and being a fan and I think yeah I, I don't really have any kind of answers on that I think I'm just trying to um, take it day by day and, yeah. Is there any way that you, like, how can we support you? How can your listeners, your um, your fans, how can we support you and, and indie artists, like, in general, other than going to your shows, which we love to do, mm. is there any other way that you would suggest that people support indie artists? Um, yeah, that's a, that's a tough one because as well as, like, you know, we're still in a pandemic Mm -hmm. and I don't think it's fair to say to people like, buy tickets, come to the shows at the moment Mm -hmm. because I totally understand people uh, don't want to come to shows at the moment and that's totally fair. Uh, So, yeah, I don't know. I think, like, just try and be nice to us on the internet. (laughs) (laughs) Just be, like, understanding that I think everybody's just um, navigating a pretty different landscape at the moment. And, um, yeah, like, this industry is definitely not... It is just not set up to look after people's physical or mental health, you know. And I think we 
give a lot of lip service to that, but I don't think fundamentally it's it's baked into the infrastructure of this job. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of something that, like, I know that I have to be very vigilant myself, which I didn't used to be. So yeah. I'm trying to be... I'm really trying to be kinder to myself this time, but it's also difficult because the job isn't set up in the way where you have much room to right. be kind to yourself. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Just just look after yourselves. Be nice. Be yeah. nice on the internet. Yeah. That's great advice. Yeah. I hope everyone takes that advice. <laughs> Please. <laughs> All right. Well, Julia, it's been so nice to talk to you. Thank you for yeah, you coming too. in today and playing these beautiful songs for us. Um, and thank you to our listeners so much for listening today and for watching this session. I want to make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel um, if you'd like a first look as, at these sessions as they post. Um, and remember, um, sessions just like this one are made possible by donor support and listener support. So if you haven't made a gift or a donation, please consider doing so at kexp.org slash live. Any amount makes a difference. It goes a very long way in powering all of these sessions. And uh, this has been Julia Jacqueline live on KEXP. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.